Hi, this is Bob Pockris, and welcome to SceneDaily.com's pre-race rundown, looking ahead to the Aaron's 499 this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. We all know Talladega is a place of restrictor plates, draft racing in a big pack, a 2.66 mile oval, the longest lap on the Spring Cup circuit. Drivers will go two wide, three wide, even four wide to get by people, but just don't go below the yellow line. Don't we remember last October? Who won the race? Was it Tony Stewart? Was it Reagan Smith? Smith went below the yellow line to make that final pass on Tony Stewart. He said he was forced down there. NASCAR said, uh-uh, he wasn't forced down there. They gave the win to Tony Stewart. So now, can Tony Stewart make it two in a row at Talladega? He's with a new team. He has 12 top 10 finishes at Talladega in his, in his 20 starts. And last year was his first win. What I do know is that Tony Stewart needs to have a better weekend than he did at Daytona earlier this year, where they had some problems with tires in his organization. He finished eighth in a backup car at Daytona. Now, we talk a lot about Talladega and Daytona in the same sentence because they're both restrictor play tracks. But let's make one thing clear, Talladega and Daytona are different. Daytona is worn and bumpy. They'll make the driver's teeth chatter as they take laps around there. Talladega? wide and smooth after a repaving in 2006. Drivers will know that Talladega is more of a chess match than a handling track as Daytona is. But in both tracks the idea is that you must get to the finish. Do you hear that Carl Edwards? Get to the finish. Don't bump draft aggressively like you did last October when you rammed into Greg Biffle causing the big one. Six cars out of that race just after that accident. Many others damaged. Greg Biffle he doesn't even know what it's like really to get to the finish recently at Talladega. He has five DNFs in his last six starts there. Another guy who's had trouble getting to the finish, Martin Truex Jr. He was your pole sitter at, at Daytona, had a good run there, but Talladega has not been kind to him. He has failed to finish the last three events. Talladega is just a place where you don't know what's going to happen. Last October, Paul Menard was third, David Reagan was fourth, Scott Riggs was seventh, Robbie Gordon was eighth. You would never have predicted all four of those guys to finish in the top ten. So who might be the candidates to have a good run who you might not really look at this year? How about Richard Petty Motorsports? At Daytona, A.J. Allmendinger was third, Elliot Sadler was fifth, and Reed Sorensen was ninth. Or even, maybe, how about Regan Smith? He's driving a part-time schedule for Furniture Row Racing. They get their cars from Hendrick Motorsports and their engines. I wouldn't count Regan Smith out to be there at the end. Well, who's good at Talladega? Let's we'll start with Jeff Gordon. He has six wins there, including a sweep in 2007. That second win in October of 2007 was the first with NASCAR's new car, so Gordon knows how to get this new car around Talladega. One guy who's kind of still learning the new car and has been successful at Talladega, Dale Earnhardt Jr. He had four straight wins at Talladega from 2001 to 2003, but his last win came in fall 2004. Since then, he's led in every race but one, but his finishes have been 15th, 40th, 31st, 7th, 40th, 10th, and 28th. Not a really great record of recent history for Dale Earnhardt Jr. A year ago in this race, last April, Kyle Busch won the first of his two restrictor plate victories of 2008. And just remember that Kyle Busch led 88 laps in the Daytona 500. Don't count him out. Bush has one win at Talladega. Uh, Tony Stewart has one win at Talladega. Lots of guys have one win at Talladega, but besides Dale Earnhardt Jr. and, Mark and Jeff Gordon, only one guy has more than one win at Talladega who's going to be competing this weekend, and that's Mark Martin. We all know Mark Martin. He won last week at Phoenix. The first guy in 16 years who's over 50 who wins a race. Now, Mark Martin doesn't have a lot of recent experience at Talladega. He skipped that race, the races there in 2007 and 2008, since he was driving a part-time schedule. Now, he won at Talladega back in 1995 and 1997, and I would just think that Mark Martin, he's on a roll. Four races ago, he was 34th in points, but after finishes of 6th, 7th, 6th, and the win, he's now 13th in points. He's ready to kick the door down and get into chase contention. A guy like Dale Earnhardt Jr., he's just hoping to grab Mark Martin's leg and be dragged toward chase contention. Dale Earnhardt Jr., 19th in points, 103 points behind 12. 
Dale Earnhardt Jr. can't have the issues he had at Daytona where he and Brian Vickers tangled after Jr. went below the yellow line. There we go again. I keep talking about the yellow line and restrictor plates. All things that are necessary for a safe race at Talladega. It makes Talladega fun and yet hard to watch, hoping that everybody gets through unscathed. We'll hope for a safe race at Talladega for the drivers and for the fans as well, as Talladega is known as one of the prime party spots on the Spring Cup circuit. Well, that's all I've got for you this week. Hope you join us next week on SingDaily.com to preview the race at Richmond International Raceway.